Hello, my name is Mark Piller. In this video, I will be talking about debugging of Flex and .NET applications directly from Visual Studio. Uh, if you are developing .NET apps, you know how to use Visual Studio to debug uh, .NET uh, code. But if you are developing Flex applications or Flash applications, you probably do not know that there is a, there is a way to develop uh, Flex or Flash-based applications in Visual Studio. For this, I'm using uh, uh, an IDE for the Flash platform called Amethyst, developed by Sapphire Steel. There is another video that I prepared where I reviewed how to use Amethyst and Web Warp together in Visual Studio, and you should see the link to that video on your screen right now. What I have here in my environment, uh, it's a Visual Studio solution, and it contains two projects. One of them is a Flex application, which is an Amethyst project in Visual Studio. It contains uh, an MXML file, fairly straightforward, fairly trivial application. You can see the design view of this application on your screen. It contains a text input uh, where the user can type in a value, a button, which will send this value to the .NET service exposed by WebWarp. And once uh, this Flex application receives a result, it displays the value of this result in this label right here. This application uses the code generated by WebWarp. Uh, this code is automatically included through the integration that Amethyst provides. Uh, and you can see this code right here. There is a sample service.as, which is uh, really just a wrapper around remote object, and there is a bindable model. The other part of this application that I have, or the, the other part of this solution that I have, is a .NET server-side project, which is built using WebWarp template. And in here, it's a full-blown full, full blown website, uh, which also contains application code. Specifically, it is a, it is a service uh, which is exposed by WebWorp that contains just one method, and this service is consumed by the Flex application that I, uh, that I just reviewed, specifically this application right here. So the point of this video is to demonstrate how to do debugging of both Flex applications and .NET applications without ever leaving Visual Studio. In other, in other words, doing the debugging entirely in Visual Studio. For this, I will set up two breakpoints. So I have one breakpoint established in my service exposed by WebWarp. So right here, uh, where we return actual value. The other breakpoint will be established in the ActionScript code uh, here in MXML. Uh, there is action script code imported through fx colon script tag, and it points to myflexapp.designer.as, which is located right here. So this, this function, send data to server, is invoked when I press the button in my Flex application. Here we use this service proxy, which is the code generated by WebWarp and automatically included into this Flex app. You can see how to get this done in the other video that I mentioned. Uh, but right now, uh, I do have a breakpoint in my Flex application sitting right here, right before we do the remote method invocation. So in other words, there, is a, there are two breakpoints. There is one on the client side right here. There is one on the server side right here. So how do we go about setting it up so, so both applications can be debugged in the same session and just going back and forth between the client and the server? First of all, I'm going to select my Flex app application. And right from the debug menu, there's a listen option. So I select listen, and now Visual Studio attaches itself as a debugger to the client side project. Uh, before we go, before we run anything, we need to attach Visual Studio as a debugger to the server side project. So I select uh, my web warp site and go into tools, attach to process. And I already have my development server running because I have started this website previously, built and ran it and uh, the web development server is still up and running and I'm going to attach to it. The process name is webdevwebserver20.exe and it says it is ASP.NET development server on the specific port. I'm going to attach here. So now both breakpoints should hit as soon as this code executes. Since the client side project, my Flex application, is the one that drives the entire workflow, we need to run it. And to do this, I'll select my Flex app, right click, and uh, from the debug menu, there is start new instance. So I click that. Visual Studio runs the browser and loads the Flex application. And uh, let's type in a message and call it 
test message. So now when I click this uh, button, my break breakpoint should hit, and uh, that's correct. Uh, you see we are in the action script code, and there is a breakpoint. Uh, this breakpoint got hit. We can see exactly what the variables are. So this val parameter is what uh, I typed in in text input. We, we see it is the test message. Uh, let's also inspect our service proxy. Expand this and uh, scroll down to service proxy. So here's the service proxy. And in there we can see all the non-public uh, variables and non-public members. There is a remote object. This is the remote object that facilitate, will facilitate communication between Flex application and .NET. Uh, clearly, if your application is more complex, you'll be able to use the traditional debugging tools that Visual Studio provides. But for the lack of this complexity, let's go ahead and click Run. So now invocation goes out to the server, and here it is. A uh, breakpoint on the .NET side is now hit, and we are in still in the same Visual Studio. Now we have both Flex and .NET projects, and right here, all the traditional mechanisms of .NET debugging are applicable, and we can see what the parameter is uh, for the for the variable that was sent from Flex to to this .NET service, and where, where the integration was facilitated by WebOrb. Click Run. A request goes back to the to the browser, and here it is. We have this result .NET returned test message. So with this super simple example, I dem I demonstrated how to use Visual Studio to do the debugging of both Flex applications and .NET services exposed by WebWorp directly in Visual Studio. Uh, Amethyst uh, installer is included into WebWorp, just like WebWorp temp Visual Studio templates are included into Amethyst, Amethyst uh, installer. So download the products, try it out, and if you are uh, a .NET developer working with Flex or Flash applications, this is probably, and it is, the best combination you can find out there that gives you the, the, the most ideal environment that you can hope for. This concludes the video. Uh, enjoy both Amethyst and WebWorp, and happy coding!